Alright, let's get ready for a cutscene, guys. Damn it, Alex. Now that he knows my weak point, it won't be long until he sends an assassin. I need to hurry up and get my body back. Six netherworlds till I'm back in my hellhole. Save the game. And then I think there's more cutscenes. We'll see. Jeez, what a bunch of bitches. <laughs> Jeez, you're an honest one, aren't you? Who the hell is she? One of Alex's assassins? <laughs> Her? An assassin? You've grown paranoid, Zeta. Demon Overlord Sito. You rarely leave the underworld. What's the occasion? Graham the Oracle said you were in trouble. I just came to see for myself. And maybe have a little fun. <laughs> yeah, that's Demon Overlord Sito. He's the ruler of the underworld. You know, the place with all the dead people? He was a kind, brave samurai until he got lost in the underworld, where he kicked enough ass to become head honcho. I wonder what he's really after. Is that chick one of your spies, Seedal? My spies? Ha! Not her! No way! All of my spies are still in the underworld. Except, of course, for the ones I placed in your ranks. Hmm. Well, Sam, you certainly are high strung if you thought this little girl walking around in the open was an assassin. Shut up! You, little girl, who are you anyway? Did you come here to kill me? Um, hold on, Zeta. Something strange is going on. I know that! She's a strange-looking girl! No, no, she shouldn't be able to exist here if she's just an ordinary girl. Well, yeah, uh, I was wondering that too. But do you think she knows where she is, or what she's in the middle of? Um, she's 
She looks pretty dense, so... no. Hey, what's your name? Trenia! Trenia. Why do I care what her name is? I used to be able to eliminate dumb girls like this without a second thought. Damn. I'm going soft. She made an attempt at my life. Why don't I want to kill her? It's like something inside of me won't let me kill her. Who the hell writes this crap? Just because I lost my body doesn't mean I have to lose my mind. <laughs> Zeta, books shouldn't have long internal monologues. What? No, never mind. So what about this chick? Should we kill her now, or find a deliciously evil way to torture her first? Just let her go. Shut up. Just leave her alone. I, Overlord said a decree that nobody is allowed to harm that girl. Well now, we finally get control and now we can have Seedle make us a world, so let's do that. I don't know if I have enough time to actually like play a level, because that was a long cutscene. But um, anyway, yeah, I'll, I'll show you. If you haven't noticed, you can do secret battles in this game. To unlock those uh, overlords as characters, and you probably saw earlier that I actually have Seedle as a character, but it's not actually him, it's supposed to be a copy of him. So, I have my own little um, Seedle character that you can only get from beating him, he's like level 500 or something like that. It's kind of a pain in the ass. Oh, yeah. I guess one other amusing thing I can do is um, kick my own people's asses. Just like this. So, yeah, just punch somebody. And I can pull a Mario on these people too. Bam! I jump on your head. And I punch you. And I throw you across the room. Because I'm an asshole. But, um. Doesn't matter because we fix all these people up anyway. Um. What do you have to say? I don't really like that Dark Lord Seedle. He's gloomy, sarcastic, and always hating on people. What a jerk. That is so something unbeknownst would say. Um, anyway, I guess I'm just going to cut the video here. And I'll just save again so we're past the um, cutscene. Sorry, it was a little uneventful on the uh, playing part, anyways. And it only gives us more questions about what the hell's going on. Anyway, we'll figure it out next video. See ya.